Hi, I'm Flor Castillo, and you're watching Tell It Like It Is. This week, I explored the issue of charter school expansion in Massachusetts. The Pioneer Valley Chinese Immersion Charter School is a K-12 school located in Hadley and focuses on developing their students' proficiency in Mandarin Chinese. Currently, the state regulates the charter school with a cap of 584 students. The Chinese Immersion School wants to grow to a maximum of 1,036 students, so they've been applying for expansion. I think the main difference between a charter school and a public school is that the charter school is not um, directed by or bound to follow the rules of an elected school committee. So the way that they um, function is they get to make up what they want to do and they're not really accountable to anybody like our school is accountable to a school committee that we elect. So there's a whole chain of accountability that charter schools don't have. Well, a public school is required to take all kids from their district, which would be a certain zone or catchment area, whereas a charter school often has a specialty or a slant, like in the case of the Chinese Immersion School, their district um, can be determined differently. Usually it's a bunch of, in Western Mass at least, it's usually a number of small of the surrounding cities and towns, and they accept students by lottery. So whereas a public school is required to take all students who come, whose parents register them, et cetera, who live, for example, in Northampton, in a charter school, they can have, they have a certain number of kids they can take, and when they reach that maximum through the lottery, if they reach it, then they're done. People wanted to expand uh, or, or erase the cap or get rid of the cap because um, some people are, are advocating that charter schools offer more choice. Um, and, you know, in some places maybe that's true. Um, so that's one reason I think people might be interested in expanding. The Northampton School Committee has sent a letter opposing the school's expansion, claiming that it will have a significant effect on the Northampton public schools. Well, the disadvantage for a city like Northampton is that basically it comes down to the funding formula. So the way that the funding formula works for charter schools is that the sending district has to um, pay tuition to that charter school, and that tuition is how much we spend on each child in Northampton. And the problem is, is that once you start adding up all of that tuition, that um, it really uh, it really has a huge impact on our on our city's budget, and so it really um, we lose a lot of money to charter schools. The state's decision will come out after the Board of Education takes up charter amendments in February or March. I'm Flor Castillo, and this was Tell It Like It Is.